talk to you about the reality of fat loss and weight loss and why your fat loss efforts are failing. So here's the thing. A lot of people fail at fat loss, but it's not for the reason that you think, right? So, so much of it comes down to your perspective on things. And so what do I mean by this? So, so much messaging, so much marketing out there has conditioned us to believe that fat loss should be easy, right? So with all these online fit pros and influencers and diet gurus, they're all giving us the, the impression that fat loss is easy, that it's, a, that it's a walk in the park, that you won't have to work hard or that you won't struggle. And, you know, what we've created really is this community of basically disempowered people who want the rewards of being healthy, but they don't want the responsibility of getting and staying healthy. And it's like, if you want to enjoy the rewards of being healthy, you have to take the responsibility in your own hands. Starting something is easy. We all like starting something new. It's exciting. And where it goes astray is when the excitement wears off, right? And the reality sets in that it's hard. And some days it sucks. And in your mind, you think that, you know, it's just going to be this easy, temporary break from your bad habits that you just have to basically get this diet out of the way and get this weight off. And then you go back to living your normal life, the one that got you into the condition that you're in right now and you're not happy with, right? Well, I'm here with a spoiler alert, a reality check, right? It is not like that. Only in a dream world do you get to eat garbage food and trash your body and have abs and energy for days. You are not one diet away. That's the biggest load of bull, you know? The reason you are not successful isn't because you haven't got the right diet or the right training plan. And this is, and th this really frustrates me, right? You're not, not where you want to be because of, you know, some conspiracy against you from big whoever, big food, big pharma, big egg, big whoever, right? It's not because of some circumstances that are beyond your control. That's a cop out. Life is hard and everybody's life is hard. It's your perspective. It's your impatience, your absolutely impossible expectations that don't even remotely resemble real life. Do you wonder why people keep falling for garbage weight loss scams? And more importantly, why do people keep selling them? And it's because they know that people will buy them. It doesn't matter how badly debunked they've been, people will keep buying in. Why? It's because we're in love with this idea that weight loss should be easy. That it, we, we should be able to just quickly diet to get down to a weight and then eat whatever we want and maintain our dream body. And it's like people are coming up to me being like, you know, hey, Coach John, I, I want to be able to lose the weight with no effort and then be able to eat whatever I want and never get fat. And that's basically like saying I want to become a world champion sprinter without ever having to run and be out of breath. Like this is not going to happen overnight. You have to burn that idea, destroy it. <clears throat> excuse me, push it off a cliff, basically to never see it again. There is no quick fix to becoming lean and staying lean permanently. You absolutely can get a fantastic physique. You absolutely can lose the weight. You absolutely can be healthy and enjoy life. I've lost almost 100 pounds and I'm keeping it off. And this didn't happen in 90 days or 30 days or 21 days. This didn't happen because of a magic diet or a training plan or a supplement or someone's quick fix or 21 day fix. You're not overweight because you're missing some piece of information or some secret. All it is, is you have false expectations that have been conditioned into you about what it actually takes to succeed. And by succeed, I mean not just lose weight, but keep it off permanently. And you need to change your perspective and say, hey, if I want to become a world champion sprinter, I'm going to need to run my guts out some days. I'm going to need to trip and face plant and fall maybe pull a hamstring and not be able to run some days. And all of these things are going to happen in the process of becoming a world champion. But more importantly, it's when I trip and when I face plant, I am going to get up again, right? And that's the perspective that's going to get you the results that you desire. It's, it's why you don't do the things that you know you should be doing. It's because you want there to be an easier way. And I'm sorry, but it's hard. So hard, in fact, that we have an obesity crisis. If the majority of our population is overweight, despite the volumes and volumes of information telling us how to correct this, we don't have an information problem. We have a perspective problem.
We need to understand that this is not easy because the reality is you know what to do. And in fact, I'm certain you've tried diets and you've tried gym memberships and you know, maybe you bought slimming shakes or fat loss pills and you know what to do, but you haven't shifted your perspective to accept the reality of what is required for permanent transformation. And I'm going to tell you something that's going to blow your mind. <laughs> you are where you're at because you want to be there, because you don't want to change. And you're going to get mad and you're going to say, but Coach John, I want to lose the weight. I want to be healthy. And I'm saying, yeah, 49% of you wants those things, but 51% of you is unwilling to give up what you have right now. 51% of you doesn't want to work hard. 51% of you doesn't want to fail. 51% of you doesn't want to trip, fall, and face plant. And you need to get brutally honest with yourself. You are where you are because 51% of you wants to be there. Let that sink in for a minute. So what do you do? Well, realize this. The minute you want things to change more than you want them to stay the same, you will change. So what to you is the equivalent of tripping and face planting that you're avoiding doing? What are you really afraid of? And question it. Say, is it really true? Do you think that you're going to have to live like a monk to be healthy? Is that really going to happen? Is it going to be as bad as you expect it to be? Or can you trip and stumble and screw up and get back up? Because I tell you what, <clears throat> you will fall, you will fail, you will face plant, you will screw up badly all in the process of learning how to not just lose weight, but to live lean and keep it off permanently. And the question is, can you keep, like, can you get up and keep going? Because you will not achieve any significant transformation until you're willing to struggle, until you're willing to fail. And along the way, you're going you're, you're gonna to screw up so many times. But here's the thing. In real life, you're going to screw up and face plant and fail anyways. And so if you're going to fail anyways, why not screw up on the path to getting lean and being healthy than screw up on the path to a heart attack and an early death? You know, if your perspective right now is that like failing is an obstacle, a threat, or like a roadblock, you can change that definition because what is, you know, what do a stumbling block and a stepping stone have in common? They're just a rock. What changes is your perspective, right? And it's, it's your perspective and expectations that will change what that rock does to you or for you. So if you want to be successful, and my definition of successful is not just losing weight, but keeping it off. If you want to be successful, know this. Things will go wrong. You will screw up. It doesn't matter. You need to embrace the fact that weight loss is a process. And that process is hard. But it's also incredibly rewarding, right? And the reality is you just need to keep doing the simple steps that move you forward. And you'll be successful. And what happens when you fall and, and, and face plant? You get up and you say, hey, I learned something. And next time, I'll dodge that rock, you know? And look, I'm not trying to put like a, you know, a big doom and gloom spin on this, but this needs to be said, right? There's, there's just too many people out there still saying that and, and, and thinking that this process of weight loss is fast and easy. And that somewhere there's like the road back to you eating whatever you want, whatever junk you want, and staying lean. And that's just not true. This is what keeps people trapped and stuck. And I'm here to change that. I'm not saying the process of losing weight is a negative thing or that it's, that, you know, it's, it's pure misery. But what I'm saying is, if you want to be successful, you have to be prepared to fail. It's the cost of getting what you want. So don't, don't look at this process like it's a bad thing. Like, oh man, I just have to like suffer through this diet before I can go back to, no. You have to find enjoyment in the process. And, and the funny thing is, is like, you know, the things that I thought were going to provide me with like fulfillment, the outcomes like losing almost 100 pounds or deadlifting 500 pounds, they didn't do it for me. Like, nice, nice to say. It's kind of it's kind of neat. But a week or two later, I'm on to something else. And you know where, where like real satisfaction comes from, real fulfillment comes from is looking back and realizing who I've become and what I've overcome in the process of getting to where I am. 
And this is what makes the journey all worth it. And here's another spoiler alert. There is no destination happiness. There is no end point, right? And this is why I'm talking about finding joy in the process. Embrace the process. Embrace the satisfaction of growing better, growing stronger, and overcoming obstacles. And look, here's the thing. If these bad things didn't happen to you along the way, your life story would suck. You know, we love stories of people overcoming hardship. And when you shift your perspective to think that you're living an incredible story, no amazing story is like, oh, I just cruised along and it was life was easy. No, these things, these struggles, they're making your future story inspiring and incredible. Not just for you, but for those around you and those who come after you. If there's no adversity, there is no growth. And if there's no growth, there's no fulfillment. And the difference between staying stuck and moving forward is that 2%. 49% of you or 51% of you. That's the difference between staying stuck and making progress. So it's up to you. What do you choose?